He's back. It's Michigan Congressman Thaddeus McConner. Nice name. He knows the Bill of Rights like I know pillow fights. I'm 45 and 0, people. Congratulations to me. Oh, My Congressman, um, there's got to be something more to this than uh, him calling President Obama a name, right? What is going on here? Well, I don't have first-hand knowledge of it, but uh, clearly there had to be some type of implied threat, a higher threshold than simply insulting language mm -hmm. for this type of action to be taken. Because unlike Jim and those people who are still upset about the War of 1812, <laughs> uh, we don't want to be appearing revanchist with the British at this point. In time. I love the Brits. I was just joking. Do you ever get threatening uh, emails? Yes. Many of them from people other than you. <laughs> yes, I know. I send at least four or five a day. Some of them with photographs. I'm lazy, so I just send you what Greg said in yeah. my email. I just sort of reiterate what his threat was. Well, a lot of times you're together in those emails. Yes, well, it takes true. a while to type. Tamara, uh, uh, Congressman, last word to you. Uh, do you think the authorities would have been uh, acted similarly if it was Bush? Or were they just used to the fact that Bush gets stuff like this all the time? No, I think that they take these matters very seriously regardless of the party trap. And I mm -hmm. think that this is something that they would have done <laughs> yeah. in the same instance with President Bush. Okay. Greg, there's one thing. I think it's no, I think the subtext. Yeah. Congressman, uh, do you agree uh, with what Newt said that uh, the Republicans are going to take the House and Pelosi is going to retire and Reid's going to be gone? Do you believe all that? Well, I think there's a long way to go. And I think the worst thing Republicans or conservatives can do is count their chickens before they're hatched. Mm. Because what will happen... Did you coin is, that phrase? Yes. <laughs> Yes, I can believe I saw it on a vivid video. <laughs> uh, Chickens mean something completely different on vivid video, by the way. <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> no, there's a long way to go, and I think that it's too early, and I think that the Speaker Gingrich, maybe he relates more often with Speaker Pelosi than I do. <laughs> she, she hasn't relayed her secret plans for me, and as for the Wizard of Oz video, mm. It is California. Yeah. Tamara, yeah. what do you think of the video? In meetings in 99 counties every year. I'll tweet, I'll text, I'll do whatever it takes. I work for you. Grassley works for us. I'm Chuck Grassley, and I approve this message. Can you imagine doing a commercial where you're boasting the use of technology? I use a phone. <laughs> I, I like the Twitter. You got a rotary phone? Yeah. <laughs> he actually had the Facebook and Twitter symbols on his ad in the corner as if to bring the point home. The only thing missing from that ad is he didn't call it the Twitter. Yeah, exactly. I use the Twitter. Yeah, I, get I like using the moving staircases at the mall. Yes. You get there faster. You don't have to walk. I employ yeah. hidden camera technology in restrooms. <laughs> like None of the windows in my car are rollerbots. They are all automatic. Can't emphasize that enough. Uh, Congressman. <laughs> well, I just, I'm shocked at the beginning of it, where somehow he believes that he's further ahead of the curve than his constituents. Yeah, that's incredible. <laughs> right? And, and to me, that would be a no-no. Yeah, yeah. Do, do you Washington think... generally lags behind your constituents. <laughs> that is true. He, he totally forgot his Twitter handle, though. Right. Right. Congressman, Define your terms. Congressman, as a regular pill abuser, this must outrage you. No? No, I, I, I'm, I'm seriously reconsidering watching that video again, because the, the furry little critter looked like you. And I know it's not the first time you've ridden a hog. Yeah. <laughs> Answer the question, Congressman. I can't remember the question. What, is, this is wrong, it's, is it not? Yes. Uh, yes. Okay. Yes, trap. Why is it wrong? Because you said so, trap. Oh, come on. You're not going to answer the question? I think it's wrong to have the government coming in. You have the medical profession there. You have the doctor-patient relationship. You have the pharmacist there. Everything is in place to make sure that people can be safeguarded from this type of abuse. You don't necessarily need to have the government looking over your shoulder when you have these professionals in place. Mm -hmm. And unless, just because they're looking at this prospectively in terms of how we can solve problems ahead of time, I don't think that that's an excuse to go in there and start to have this type of oversight over people. Yeah, Jim, it, fun what, one. Uh, Congressman, uh, do, should kids have toys with phobias? I guess it's because if, you're, you want, if your kid has a phobia, you want the toy to have a phobia. Does that make sense? Well, it's a parental decision. But, yes. but I remember when we were growing up, you're, you're older than me, by yes, the way. Yes, I know, by a few When days. we were growing up, we had dolls like uh, G.I. Joe, you had yeah. Major Johnny West, and things like that that were more aspirational, more action-oriented rather than more self-actualizing and indulgent look, inward looking. Mm, good point. But I will say this, we also had the creepiest doll ever, which is Raggedy Andy. I well, never understood I Raggedy Andy. He was the precursor to uh, Freddy Krueger. 
Well, you're not going to throw one of these things off the top flight of the stairs and get any response at the bottom. <laughs> I mean, it's just not going to do anything. Yeah. It's just not designed for fun. <laughs> it's it's interesting you should say inward looking, though, because my <laughs> professionalism saw it through. <laughs> Congressman, give me your congressman take on this. I think he should be granted asylum. It's clearly a case of where his life's in danger if he leaves the United States. Mm -hmm. So I think it's a reasonable request and it should be honored. Yeah. What, can you start using uh, things like this as an excuse to, for granting asylum? Well, I don't know that you would classify being a homosexual with Jewish friends as grounds for death as an excuse. Yeah. But, I mean, no, the thing is, if you claim that you could die in another country, for, any, for whatever reason. Well, we have a situation in the United States, and we're talking about immigration overhaul. Mm -hmm. And one of my points has always been that we should make asylum a priority over the economic aspect of drawing new people here. Mm -hmm. It's always been reversed now where we need the people, the skilled labor, blah, 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 blah. But this is a land and a beacon of freedom. This is where people do find asylum from those types of situations and oppressions within their own countries, especially those people, many of whom are fighting for their own freedom today. True. So that should be the priority, is to provide asylum to those people rather than simply try to find a way to economically exploit the individuals who come here. Hmm. Well put, I might add. Well put indeed. Why is, off the side, why is that horrible country one of our closest allies? Well, they're, they're, just, they're the worst. <laughs> they're the worst. They really are. Why are we friends with them? I don't get they're it either. Terrible. Sorry, I had a little well, black hole in my throat there. Him either. He wants to. He wants to stay here. He doesn't want to go back to that crazy. Place. But I mean, it's like they're one of our closest allies, and, and they, they, they stink. They're just. They're barbaric. Well, I think we should keep him here, and he can hide in Lady Gaga's meat purse. Oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> that is an amazing euphemism. Yeah. No, she, she said that she on the board. Yes. To the viewers at home who aren't, that she, made, she has a purse actually made of meat. And a whole yeah. actually, her author was made of it. She's yeah, yeah. a stupid statement. <laughs> They'd be hungry. And, and Cher was holding it. Yeah. She's <laughs> yeah. Couldn't tell yep. which Hey, Congressman, Gingrich said we, we're going to see Speaker John Boehner. What do you make of the Obama administration's decision to sort of make Boehner a target? Do you think the fact that he's orange plays a role? Are they racist? Well, I don't know. People seem to like Cheeto Joe quite a bit. <laughs> and so I, I, I don't know that picking on uh, Speaker Boehner, or pardon me, uh, potential Speaker Boehner for having a tan is good. I also right. don't think that really, in all seriousness, Andy, that someone in the presidency should ever try to stoop to throw a blow at somebody in a minority leader position because right. that elevates the individual and right. it's actually counterproductive to what the president's trying to accomplish. Well, he actually needs he needs opposition, doesn't he? Yes, he, he does. Yeah. The congressman, also counterproductive to your future uh, leadership role in the Republican Party is comparing uh, Boehner to Cheeto Joe. Well, no, when you lose your hair early and you're pale these days, you don't have much of a leadership track in the U.S. <laughs> okay, is that how it works? <laughs> Might backfire. Wow. Uh, Congressman, you said the worst thing Republicans can do is count their chickens before they hatched. Is the proper time to count chickens after they've come home to roost? I'm, a, I'm hoping that doesn't happen. Mm -hmm. right. But I agree with you. It, it was a. I tried to pass off that as my own, and I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> right. Why can't you count chickens before they hatch? I don't, even if they don't hatch, you just got dead chickens. Yeah, exactly. They are yeah. chickens, technically. Yeah. 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 Still I, I think good. if they don't hatch, they're eggs. Right. Yeah. Oh, no reason to humiliate me. <laughs> well, I wanted to make sure people knew there was an alternative to Lady Gaga's meat dress. And, <laughs> and here's your chickens. There you go. Uh, Greg Lock, share. Greg, you said share too. Florida. Okay. Hey, Congressman, you running for re-election unopposed? Uh, no, and in fact, I think my appearances on this show are probably going to come back to haunt me. <laughs> Tamara, quickly, your new internet address. Theholderposition.com launches Wednesday. Excellent. Nice. Back to you, Greg. Thank you, Annie. Tamara Holder, a pleasure. Bill Schultz, you're a disgusting human being. Congressman Daddy's Mercado, a delight as always. And Jim Norton, a miracle, a miracle child that does it for me. <laughs> I'm Trap Summers. See you next time.